Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be doing a short Q&A session with you guys. So basically, I'll be posting an IG story with a ask me a question poll. And I'll look at the replies tomorrow and answer it in this video. So yeah, I'm curious to see what are you guys gonna ask. And I'm a bit scared also. I'm a bit scared and curious. <laughs> okay, right. So basically, I did a IG story right now, I haven't posted yet, but this is what it looks like. I haven't clicked post. And yeah, it's gonna, uh, it says here, leave some questions for my Q&A video. Yeah, this is a boomerang by the way. <laughs> okay, I'll post it right now. Alright, um, share. Okay, it's shared right now. Okay, the story is now live. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hello guys, so it's been 24 hours since I posted a story yesterday and today is another day. So yeah, it's time to check my Instagram responses from you guys and see what question did you guys ask. Okay, it's time to open Instagram, uh, check the story. Okay, wow, guys, look at this. Thank you so much for the responses, I really appreciate it. So I'm just gonna handpick some questions and answer it, okay? So I'm just gonna pick some questions and get back to you guys, okay? Well, starting with the first question, uh, but before that, I think I should off the lights first. <laughs> okay. Oops. Okay. Brightness. Okay. So for the first question, uh, what made you become an influencer or YouTuber? Uh, this is an interesting question actually because. Initially, my plan wasn't to become a YouTuber or influencer. That's my. That's not my plan at all. My plan is to just upload one video on YouTube and just see how it goes. Like, I want to know the feeling of filming, editing, and uploading a video. That's all. I want to experience that kind of feeling. And after the first video, I stopped for a bit. And on year twenty nineteen. I started taking my YouTube account more seriously uh, by uploading contents every week, one week once, from what I remembered. <laughs> now for the second question, let's take a look. Korean or Japanese food better? <laughs> okay, I enjoy both Korean and Japanese food. For Japanese, I enjoy sushi the most, I guess. And for Korean, I enjoy the what is it? The bulgogi and the, the things in the soup. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, I enjoy both Korean and Japanese food. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, uh, now for the next question. Uh, what do you use to edit your YouTube videos? I use Final Cut Pro to edit my YouTube videos. I love using Final Cut Pro because um, it's, I mean, I'm used to it. But for the first time when I'm using Final Cut Pro, I'm actually not used to it and I find it really hard to use. But after using it for two, three times, I think it's, I'm getting used to it so I find it quite easy afterwards, so yeah. Uh, if you're planning to, to use, to edit videos, you can try Final Cut Pro, it's, it's quite easy to use after two tries, three tries, yeah. But most of the time, I refer to YouTube on how to use it, so that makes it faster. Like, I learn a bit from here, I learn a bit from there, from tutorial. So I just learn from everywhere, and I started applying what I learned. So yeah, and my vlogs, like my previous vlogs, I think my Singapore vlog and my Langkawi vlog, I use Final Cut Pro to edit the video, so you guys enjoyed the video yeah it's the editing software is Final Cut Pro <laughs> okay and now we yeah. are moving on to the next question okay um, so before you guys continue watching the video I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video so Skillshare is basically a great platform to learn and explore all the skills that you might want to learn for example dancing cooking uh, drawing illustrating and so on there are many skills that you can learn from skillshare and the best part is it's completely ad free without any disruptions while you're watching so yeah that's the best part and currently i'm actually watching uh 
I'm learning actually from the author Evangelos Enig Notu. Sorry if I pronounce his name wrongly, but yeah, he's teaching about vlog filming basics and editing post market your video. Yeah, he's teaching about all these things. He's a really funny yet interesting guy. He's funny in, a, in an interesting way. That's how I get to learn so many things. And yeah, uh, this is basically one of the video, one of the lessons that I'm watching currently. So yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in Skillshare, you could just click the link in the description box below to get one, one month free trial of Skillshare. So why not be a member today, right? All right, enjoy the video. How to be confident like you I really want to be a YouTuber too, but I'm just too shy. Love you. Okay. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I'm also <laughs> I'm not confident as you guys think. I'm not so confident as you guys think that I would be. But uh, uh, if you want to become a YouTuber, you firstly, I mean, like to start off, you don't have to be. You have to be confident in front of camera, but it's normal to be a bit shy, you know, to be not used to the camera. I'm like that too when I first started YouTube or taking pictures. I'm also not confident, but uh, it takes time. It just takes some time and you'll get a bit used to it. And after that, it's like a normal thing. Now for the next question. <笑>你怎样拿到idea拍什么YouTube影片 我也是三点多起来，然后写那个idea，我要去新加坡做什么啊，然后问什么啊，这样子，我会写上来。Now to the next question. When is your birthday? My birthday is on 18 December, which is coming soon in a few months time. So yeah, next question. Genting vlog? Hmm, I don't think so because I didn't film anything there. I know I went to Genting, I posted some stories uh, but uh, unfortunately I did not film any vlog there <laughs> so yeah, maybe next time now going on to the next question hmm. oh bro, long time, when are you gonna reach 100k subscriber on YouTube? I'm waiting <laughs> okay, this is one of my old friend so if you're watching this, uh, see you soon bro <laughs> okay, uh when are you gonna reach 100k subscriber? I hope soon. <laughs> if you guys haven't clicked the subscribe button, you guys still have a chance to click it now <laughs> so that I can reach 100k subscriber soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hope you guys can help me reach 100k subs by, I don't know, as fast as possible. <laughs> it's one of my goals to, you know, okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing for those who already subscribed and supporting my channel so yeah thumbs up for you guys uh, now for the next question how are you now really i'm curious to know how's a youtuber life is it stressful love you by the way love you too thank you for supporting uh how are you now really i'm doing good okay i'm good how are you i hope you are good too comment down below if you're watching this to the person who asked this question Okay, uh, I'm curious to know how's a YouTuber life? Is it stressful? Okay, uh, for me right now, since I don't consider myself as a YouTuber, but I'll try my best to answer because I'm not a big, I'm not a big YouTuber. Maybe I'm just a small content creator. <laughs> okay, uh, to create one video, you have to think about a few things. Where to shoot? what content ideas you want to create uh, and yeah a few more things but I'm not sure what is it <laughs> uh, so if for example you have to create videos every day so you have to think about all these all these things every day so yeah is it stressful 
I for me I think it is stressful if you're creating videos every day but if you're creating videos maybe like once a week or once a month or few months once I think it's it's okay you can take it as a hobby it's it's kind of fun actually <laughs> If you're taking this as like a serious job, like your really your real job, I think it is stressful. If you do this, if you do this every day, it is stressful. So yeah, but for me right now, like I post more normally one videos per month. Uh, it's not not so stressful. It, it's okay. It's manageable <laughs> because most of my videos are vlogs and reviews. So. It's manageable for me. The hard part is editing. <laughs> I mean, after filming, you'll feel like, wow, you're, you've already filmed a video. But the next thing you have to think of is editing, uploading the thumbnail and stuff like that. You have to think so many more things after filming. So that's the thing you have to think. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what I'm saying, but yeah, basically that's it. Okay, moving on to the next question. What camera are you using to take all your videos? Okay, this question I get, I get it a lot. <laughs> okay, I forget to mention uh, what camera. I'm using the Sony ZV-1 camera. Sony ZV-1. Okay. Uh, I love this camera because it's it's small. I can keep it in my pocket. It's the size of my phone, or even yeah, it's the size of my phone or a bit smaller. It's a bit smaller, but it can fit my pocket. That's the thing that I like the most means I can bring this for traveling on a plane I can just fit it on my phone or on my backpack it's really easy next question no question but just wanted to say I will support I'm eh, sorry I will keep supporting you thank you so much man thank you thank you okay so do you enjoy travel alone just curious because for me I'm shy to travel alone okay uh, for traveling alone uh, it was a different experience too uh, because for me when I travel alone uh, the only downside of I mean the only things that I don't like about traveling alone is you need to eat alone <laughs> I mean there is no friend to eat with you or something like that because I traveled to Langkawi a few times alone and whenever when I eat dinner or lunch or breakfast uh, there is no one to eat with me it's like I'm eating alone that's the only part that I don't really like <laughs> other than that it's okay and for and also for activities for example uh, you want to go for uh, example jet skiing you don't have a friend to jet ski with you like you have to jet ski alone that you feel kind of like uh, there's no one to follow you around <laughs> that's the only part that it's not really nice but some people enjoy it but for me I, I'm okay with it but I prefer prefer to have someone like a friend uh, to go for activities like that with me it's, yeah that's my opinion <laughs> yeah that's all other than that it's cool but traveling alone can help you gain confidence as well that's the positive part so yeah next question你有打算唱歌吗？我很想听你唱。我有打算过唱歌，但是不是现在，因为现在我有很多project要做，比较忙，所以没有时间。如果下次我有唱歌，我一定会post在IG，OK？你可以recommend我什么歌要唱先，再
my experience filming it and how did I ask this random stranger to film me, okay? First of all, I was walking at uh, Marina Bay Sands. Uh, I was, actually I was eating something. <laughs> And after eating, I decided to take a walk outside, like the Marina Bay Sands, there's a place to walk outside. So I just walked there and I saw one guy sitting there with uh, with his handphone, like he's, he's playing with his handphone. <laughs> and I walked past twice. And after that, I uh, I got the courage to ask him, Hey man, uh, do you mind being my video? Like, do you mind me asking some questions with you? Like, yeah. And I showed him my YouTube channel. And he's like, okay, cool. Uh, it's his first time seeing a YouTuber too, and being in a YouTube video. So he said, why not, right? And we started filming. First of all, uh, it was an interesting experience because uh, I was a bit shy at the time, but I just tried to keep confident in front of the camera. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the video went. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short Q&A session. Uh, if you guys want part 2, just comment down below. If you guys have any suggestion of video, just comment down below, okay? And thank you so much for everyone who, who replied to my story, asking questions. I really, I'm really grateful for that. And I'm sorry for those who like, I'm not able to answer. The video will be too long if I answer everything. And I don't think anyone will want to watch a long video. I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> but hopefully I'll do part 2 next. Okay? See you guys in the next video. Oh,